Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. I am so excited for today's video. Obviously my face is on because this is gonna be about a little gab sesh and this palette. It looks amazing. This is the What's Your Power Palette Remixed from Gloss Gods. There are six shimmers and six mattes, and I just swatched these out on the back of my hand so I could show you because boy howdy. So without any further yammering about nonsense, let's just get into this. So on the inside where the mirror is, it says, I am dot, dot, dot. I love saying dot, dot, dot. I know you're not supposed to. I know what it is, but I like saying it. So anyway, I am dot, dot, dot. And the shimmer shades starting here, brilliant, valuable, powerful, inspiring, kind and honest. And then the matte purple is unapologetic. The matte pink is optimistic. The matte melon color is curious. And then the yellow is ambitious. And then this kind of powdery blue is courageous. And the mint green on the end is bold. I am all of those things. That is amazing. Not, not me, but like the I am and then the names. I know it's incredibly corny, but something in my nani heart just loves this. And I pulled this out a couple of days ago because I was looking for blue eyeshadow for my Blue Mondays look. And none of these really fit the bill, but the shade Kind really kind of got me. And then when I saw the inside today that says I am, and then Kind, it's like, well, duh, that's my like number one thing. I just want to be kind. It's probably not the shade I'm going to use today, or is it? I don't know. I was thinking two eyeshadows, a matte and a shimmer. It's kind of the way this palette is set up. Um, just kind of like the unearthly summer palettes from last year, very similar. I thought that palette was great for um, just a matte and a shimmer. So I'm gonna keep it pretty darn simple today. Which two is the question? <laughs> I'm really torn on what shades to use because this shade, Honest, goes from like yellow to a bluey green. I have no idea if I'm able to show you this. In the mirror, I can see it, but that is such a cool color. I think it would be really good for this kind of an eye look. Maybe I do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay, since my face is done, I'm going to wet my Singe Beauty E04, nope, E01, E01, and apply that Honest shade. Maybe at some point I will try it dry, but I don't want any fallout. And these, these six shimmers in this palette aren't particularly uh, chunky. These seem like a really smooth formula. Oh god. I don't know if you can even see how unbelievably beautiful that is. Wow. I can say with absolute certainty that unless I'm misremembering, I don't have anything in my eyeshadow stash or any stash 
that looks like this. This color shift. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wanted to update you. <laughs> okay, for reals. So I, I've told you about some of the squirrel shenanigans. I'm pretty sure I told you about my latest discovery because of the boo-boo ears. I Googled what's going on. And quick recap, December to February and June to August is squirrel mating season. So that explains why some of the squirrels had boo-boo ears. And then the other day I was visiting with my bestie because she was able to actually come over and hang out with me. And yes, it turned to squirrel talk. I can't help it. I don't have a life. Anyway, I was thinking that the reason some of the squirrels don't have boo-boo ears is because they're the girl squirrels, right? That kind of seems logical and yet not that big a stroke of business for me. But I wasn't sure. And then yesterday I happened to be in front of the squirrel feeder or chipmunk feeder or whatever you want to call it. Yes, it was supposed to be a bird feeder, but let's face it, that ship sailed. Um, I was sitting right in front of it. I'm not even sure why, doesn't matter. And a squirrel with no boo-boo ears came to the feeder and she got a little bit startled and kind of like perked herself up. And I saw her nipples. She is definitely feeding some baby's boob juice. So I was like, yes, I knew it. I figured it out all on my own, which I could have Googled it. Um, but it would have told me if they are for sure girls because you really can't tell them apart. In the fall, I read that the boys, uh, man bits, get um, larger. Not the pokey bit, but the hanging bit. Um, so you could tell then but I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't looking. I, I didn't care that much in the fall. So I didn't know for sure. So I was like, that's so cool. And now it's like, ah, she's feeding babies, which made me feel even better about, you know, keeping the squirrel feeder full. Cause we are spending a ridiculous amount of money on critter food for the wild animals, which I probably isn't smart, but I don't know, I can't not do it. So that was really exciting. And I hadn't named the non boo boo eared squirrels, the girls. So, I mean, she's nursing and I, you know, I don't like think about names. They just come to me or they don't. That's just the way it is. So this morning when she showed up, I was like, oh, good morning, mama. The girls are mama now. That's just the way it's going to have to be because they are. And once you're a mama, you know, that's a pretty important thing to be. So the girls are mama. And not that you were like, so involved and needed to know that, but I think some of you might. And then the other bit of news I have to share with you, you probably have noticed that my door is open behind me. And that's because I figured out the plant situation and puppers need to destroy all the things that I love. All right, that might be a little dramatic. Anyway, it was in the middle of the night. I mean, why do things come to me in the middle of the night? No idea. In the middle of the night, I woke up and was like, I could replant some of the plants into smaller planters and put them on the little shelf that I have in the bathroom. And I was like, wait a minute. I could just buy floating shelves and put them on those. So I'm gonna insert some pictures here for you to see. Um, 
that that's what we did. I bought some shelves and we put the plants on the shelves so I didn't have to rehome anybody. And I'm going to get some more. I'm going to go into the mint bold shade on my fluffy brush and tap it off. Um, I'm getting some more. I have one little white. That's not the brush I need. Planter. I had three, but uh, two of them did not survive. Anyway, I ordered more and my sister said she would hang them. And then when she's here, she'll water them for me since I can't stand up to reach them. So it was very exciting. I didn't have to rehome any of my plants. Everybody gets to stay. I was so excited. I know, I know you were very, very invested in this information. So I wanted to make sure to update you. <laughs> I know it's silly. I don't really have a life. So cats and plants and my bestie said that I'm not the crazy cat lady. I am in fact the crazy squirrel lady. And that's probably fair, but it's just, it's so fun. It's so fun to have the squirrels there and, you know, just kind of learn about them. And then when she was here the other day, we were talking and, you know, just having a visit and it was wonderful. And I wish we could do it more often, but we were just, you know, chatting about all the things I hadn't seen her in ages. And it occurred to me that my memory isn't terrible. I have too much knowledge in my brain. And okay, most of it's like nonsense, like ants and squirrels and chipmunks and things like that. I can't choose what stays and what goes. All I can say is that's how my brain operates. <laughs> Just so silly, but also pretty fun. So I think I'm going to take that bright green shade on my lower lash line and then maybe the purple or the pink for the inner corner just to jazz it up a bit. I'm wetting my singe brush again and I'm gonna use just the edge. and see if I can. Yeah. It's imperative that you make that hideous face as well. And I think I'm gonna have to go in with a bright green liner too. All right, let me finish this up and then I'll come back, show you the finished look and we can wrap up this very silly video. All right, I'm back and this is the finished look. Let me zoom you in for an up close reconnoiter of the eyes. I did end up using the purple shimmer on the inner corner. All right, so, uh, loving this look. I did use some of the green like clusters that I got to make this lash. I just thought it'd be extra fun. I lined my lips with the LA Girl lip liner in Forever Bear. Forever Bear. And then I used a bit of the Juvia's Place lip gloss in Oasis. Um, L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and my eyeliner is the LA Girl Pastel Dreams in Lavender on the inner portion of my lids and then the ColourPop Multichrome Liner in Wild Idea on the outer. And that is everything. I really like this look. I really like this look. I think it is super fun. This palette is adorable and fantastic for really quick, easy looks. I know I said I was going to use two shades. Turns out I needed three, but I really like it. I think it's super cute. So let me know what you think. Do you have this palette? Would you wear this look? Maybe sans the eyelashes or with the eyelashes? I don't know. I think it's fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, 
I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.